Hello, welcome back to Frenchies Road Trips. Firstly, a warm welcome to all our new subscribers. We hope you're enjoying the videos as much as we are. Um, in today's clip, it's all about door actuators or door locks to you and I. Um, on Ben's Freelander 2, the rear left hand side um, door actuator has been failing for quite some time now, to the point where we are unlocking the car and we can't get in. Um, and, and, and the door is, is just not opening and it's, it's the actuator unfortunately which is a common problem on these cars. We've done quite a few of them um, on Benz and on mine as well. It's uh, something which, yeah, they just they just seem to fail. Um, so we're gonna be showing you how how he does that. And um, yeah, it should, uh, shouldn't take too long. We'll show you what tools as well you need for the job um, and, and talk you through it. Don't forget, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, give us a comment, and also hit the bell icon as well, um, and uh, you'll, you'll get the notification when we upload our latest video. Right, we'll see you outside. Okay, so you join us outside. So we've got the trim removal um, tools, which is gonna um, help you take off um, the door card. You're gonna need some screwdrivers, some tape, and a bit of cloth. So the first job is them um, taking off the door card. So we're going to show you um, how Ben does this. Right. So what have you got there? It's a, it's a cross-headed screwdriver. Oh yeah. And there's a screw in there. Okay. There's one behind this trim, that'll come off in a minute. Right. And there's one behind a little cover. Oh, behind the cover of the, the actual the handle. That's a little circular. Oh yeah, down in there. Okay, it yeah. Comes out. Okay. So we start to um, and then do this bit. That off nice and easy. So there's that screw in there? Is that it screw is in there. Up in there. Oh yeah, up in there. You see that's up in that little hole, so use the um cross headed screwdriver then to get that one out, is it? And then that little cover there. Okay. Little flat headed screwdriver will get that. Get that out. Yeah. There's that last screw there. Yeah, okay. That's only quite a small one, isn't it? So. Yeah. yeah there we go. Screen. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, they're quite, quite lengthy screws, aren't they? I suppose. Holding the door card on. So how many of those again? There was three. Three. Three, yeah. three screws. Okay. Oh no! Tell a lie. There's another one up there. Oh, there's another one. So there's four. There's another oh, one. Up four, there. four screws then. Right. So now you've got to use one of these um, trim clip removal tools, which make the job a lot easier. So then we're going to start popping, popping the door card off now. Right. And reveal and then all of the uh, the wiring behind. So you've got the speaker wire. Oh yeah. That goes down there. That's got to come out. And then the window switch cable, which is up here. Okay. That's then got to come out. And then this comes off as well. Right. So it's like two electrical just, cables then, and then two electrical cables, and then the cable for the the right. door pull. Okay. And then 
you've got your speaker. That leaves you with the speaker cable. Right. Which also has a little pushy tab. There's a little tab then. Oh yeah. Push that in. Push that in there. Put the tab on there. Oh yeah, I can just see it. it's like a little clip. Yeah, it should So using a flathead screwdriver there just to prise it down. There we go. There we go. Not too bad, it's a bit fiddly, but that's uh, one door card out the way. Right. So your next step. Then, is to take the speaker off. Yeah. Which is three screws. Three screws for the speaker. And it's also got a little um, little tab somewhere that just pries it out. Pries out, right. And then you've got to disconnect the window motor. Yeah. And do those four four bolts. Bolts there, and that pushes in. Okay. Uh, so yes, we'll do that now. Okay. Yeah. Two tabs. Uh, was, was there one at the bottom then? There's one there and one there. Ah, okay. So there's two tabs on the speaker then. You just have to be a bit... A bit more forceful. Yeah, a bit more forceful. Um, taking the speaker out. But as you can see, um, not too bad. Which allows you access a bit into the door. Um, so I think the next bit right. is the... What's this? The window? Before, before this comes out or pushes yeah. in... We've got to disconnect the window from it. Right. So I don't know if you want to. There's a little white that white block in there. Oh yeah, let's have a look. A little white block in here somewhere then. Here. Oh right. Show you that. Ah, there. Oh yeah. That holds the window in, so got it just slides. Right. Tab you pull back and it slides out. Right. Okay. So you've got to push it up and hold it up the teeth. Right, so your next job is you've got to take the window up to stop it from sliding down then. Yeah, you've got to disconnect it from the runner, which is what is on the other side of that. Okay. That's a fairly uh, easy job, I guess. Yes. The window held in position then? No. You need 10 mil, I think it is. Okay. For those? Yeah. So, I'm find so you need a 10 mil spanner? Spanner or socket. Oh, okay. So 10 mil spanner then, or socket, as Ben has said. So to do these these bolts down here, I think there's one there. Well, there's two then. Two down there and two up there, two silver ones and two black ones. Oh, there. Go on to that one. Disconnecting that. Disconnecting those. Disconnecting that wire. Oh, yeah. And then undoing the three screws. Ah, okay. So the three on the screws. Window regulator. Right. Okay. Start off with that one. So there's another little push tab there. Yeah. Just under there. Push that in. Okay. That pulls out. And the little same with tab. that one. Yeah. Little push tab there. Okay. That's quite easy to get out as well. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Your window um, regulator, yeah, right. or door door regulator. No, that's the window. Oh right, that's, what, right that's what puts it up in there. Okay. This grey bit's the the runner. Yeah. So the win the w on the other side of that, the window sits on it. Yeah. These control it. So when you press the buttons from wherever, yeah, it tells this grey thing to go. 
Oh, turning the windows slide up and down. Up or down, yeah. Oh, okay. With it, so oh yeah, don't lose the screws. <laughs> you should have those screws are for that. Yeah, put, not benders, he puts the screws back in it, so he knows where they are. Right. Okay. Uh, so now these four. Uh, four bolts. Four bolts holding okay. that one. That's your. Um, so it's on a ten mil. Ten mil um, socket on. Socket. The okay. Very cold. I think we need a nice cup of tea after this. Ooh, <laughs> okay, so you just rest that down yeah, there. Just rest on there. Okay. So that that white clip we were trying to show earlier is is that then? Oh yeah. With the glass. Okay. Yeah. So the glass sits on this white clip. It sits in it. Oh, in the crevice. In the crevice, in the crevice in the of that white clip where yeah, your where finger my, is. Where my finger is. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. There's that little tab. Just, just oh, where there. your thumb is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit like a tooth. So this, this little tab. Oh. The camera focus. All oh, right. Where's the? So that bit there. Yeah. Ah. Okay. There's a hole in the window. Yeah. And that goes through the hole. So. So that's why it's important then to take the window up. Well, it's just so that the window needs to be out of the way so you can move this. You can move this, yeah. okay. I don't know if. Glass is at the top. I don't know if you're going to see. Look, I can see. There's, the window is just here. Okay. I don't know if you can see where my finger is, there's a hole. Yeah, I can, see. can I see. I can see where your finger is, but I can't see the hole. But There's a hole where my finger is, and yeah. a hole. Clips into that. It goes in there, so the window okay. secure onto that. Right. So your next bit is what, what's that? Was that just stuck on there? Was it, it clipped in there? So just took that off. Properly, oh, yeah. it should, be. It should be clipped in there like that. I think it come off when you took the door card off. I'm not sure. Oh right, okay. More useful. Right. So we need push that back in again. That cable there yeah. is the power cable that goes to the door. Uh, okay. Latch or so our actuator or door latch is sat behind there then? It's sat here. This is part of it. Yeah. This, that's obviously where your door. Part of the mechanism. Latched onto the striker. Yeah. So we're going to start getting these three torques. Are they torque screws? Torque screws. <laughs> uh, three torque screws out of this actuator um, or latch. We'll get that out the door. Ben's got the uh, tool there. So you are going to need. Is that a, a torque set? Is it or? Well, it doesn't have to be a torque set, but as long as you have the right torque bit. Um, that's all that one. Next size up, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. So what size is that? You can't see, but oh, T30, Torx T30. So Torx T30, then, to, to get these out. And you've already detached that, haven't you, from that cable we did earlier. So we'll show you how that clips, that cable clips yeah. into the back of that when we put the new one in. Yeah, so we've got to thread that one through there in a minute. Okay. So get it all so cut through. So actually I'll do that now.
So this cable yep. is the one now that to get this off properly without yep. breaking stuff, you've got to take the handle off. Take the handle off, okay. This is the outside. Makes it a lot handle. easier. Ah, okay. So outdoor cable and indoor cable then. Yeah. Right. So to do that, there's a little tab inside the gap. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're, they're just, I don't know if you can see. See so in there. There are ah. a few holes. Camera there. Oh yeah. There are some tabs. Oh my, there's a tab there. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh yeah. Oh. Tab there. Yeah. And there's a tab somewhere just below it. Just below. So there's Oh yeah, where my two fingers are then? Yeah. There's two tabs there which then hold on the um this black plastic which hold this little bit on cover. here. Yeah. Okay. So we need to move those tabs so that can come off. Come off. There's a screw behind there. Right. The handle then can what slide. The handle you grab it hard and shove it this way. Yeah. So it's a hard pull like that. That then can swing out and come off. And then there's on the inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see that as well. Um, there's a screw just in there. Oh no, I'm not meant to see that one. Through this, through this oh, hole. Oh, through that the, gap. Through this hole on the door. Ah. So the, ah, in there. That, that screw there. Yeah. You can do that one as well, and then the whole door the handle. Oh, this is the just handle itself. That. Yeah. And it can all come out, and it comes through this this gap here. Okay. So we can get cables off nice and easy. It just makes it so a bit is easier. the plan. <laughs> just makes it a bit easier job. Yes. Okay. The plans don't always go well. Right. So you. You're you have a plan B. You're gonna have to. Oh, so what do I have to do here? So as I undo these tabs. Yeah. I've got to pull you backwards on the pull on this, the cover. Yeah. Okay. So we're ready. That little bit obviously goes in there. Okay. And then bends it back round. Ah, so there's little clips on the end then. Yeah, so these little clips here yeah. are what I was getting off with a screwdriver. Right. Pushing them, pushing them in like. And they're quite like quite strong. Yeah. Okay. So that obviously goes in there. Push that bends around and they go so it sits like that. Okay. So that does that. So now the handle should, should slide. A bit of force. <laughs> a bit of force. Oh, that a good pull. Hey, yeah. here we go. And it comes back. And like that. And out. And out wow. It goes. Just like that. Okay, so that's how you remove. That's how you remove the handle. The handle. Ah. So you undo the screw to undo. Okay. The whole lot. So the little screw up in there. It's so using an Allen key now. Oh yeah. So. The Torx Allen key. Torx Allen key then. What size is that? T25, so it's a bit smaller T25. than T25, okay. Those ones. Yep. Obviously it's only the one. There it is. So it's a little, little screw. Okay. That screw I took out earlier, yeah. yeah. With the, the little Allen key, that screws into that on the inside. Okay. But in order to get the handle off, that needs to also come out. Come out to be able to take the plastic casing so off behind. Yeah, so you can push that in there. Yeah. But also in here, push it that way. That way. Okay. So the whole mechanism behind or plastic. Casing, I suppose, to the the handle should slide. Should slide. Let's take these gaskets off. Okay. Move those gaskets off there. Yeah. Push that clip in there. Push that in. Carefully. Like Carefully, that. and then. Sorry, Whoa! Sorry. There we go. <laughs> the whole thing comes off. So that's the hand. So that's the handle casing behind them. 
Yeah, so it sits up in here. Okay. Oh, ah, yeah. Okay. That's what we just took off. Blimey. That's the whole mechanism. Yeah. So if you needed to fit a new handle, for whatever reason, that's how you would do it. There we go. So it's the... And I was right. This is the one I bust. Ah, uh, yes. These clips are knackered. There should be... Plastic clips are broken. There should be four clips there. There's obviously 22, so... Okay. Yeah, so that's what we just took off. Okay. So that obviously sits up against the inside. Yeah. It sits up like that, up against the door. That's obviously on the outside. And that will go in there like that. That's like that. Obviously stays back. That little block. That's your cover. Off. So that is all sat there like that, in there. Oh yeah. Which way round is that going to be? That way round. That way, <laughs> that's sat in there like that. Yeah. Up in there. That's so your in, inner cable, that's your inner door. Yeah, so that one is the one that came through there. So when you pull the door handle on this side, that pulls that, which pulls on here. If you see where that... Oh yeah, it's pulling the mechanism moving. back that way. And then this one is obviously when you when you pull pulling a shorter cable. A shorter cable. It's obviously open the door from the outside. From the outside, which operates that that mechanism in there. But like yeah. you say, it's broken. So. Well, yeah. So what what should happen is that should sit in there like that and clip in nicely. So that's kept in there like that. So you can pull that out. Yep. So that out just pops out. Ready for a new cable to go in. So now you can see from the new one. That being the old one, look. See what it should be like. Oh yes. Yeah, so the clips have broken so off, clear. haven't they? Okay. So that should work a lot better. So that. So you've got some. This is going to be tough, I think. A bit fiddly, it's but. It's going to twist around. That's in there, that's better. Oh, yeah. That slots in there like that. And Pop that back in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that was not too bad, yeah, yeah. A bit more straightforward. Right, then this one then, to undo that. So you use a flathead screwdriver on here. Just to pull these. Pull these tabs out. Tabs back. Inner cable, then this is the inner, inner one. cable, and then you've got. I don't know if you can see, there's a little, little groove in that arm, and there's a little tab at the bottom of there, so you've got oh to yeah. twist it to line up there, and, and it pops out. out. Oh, okay, so that's the old so that's worthy of the bin. That is, yeah, yes. it's worthy of the bin, unfortunately, yeah. and that cable, okay, so dispose of those. <laughs> Ready for the new one? Ready for the new one, yeah. Right, so we'll start with that one then. So that's the. That's where all oh this yeah, sits. Where, where it would sit. That's where that sits. So you put the cable in first, you got. So that's that little tang. Yep. The little tang I was saying about. That's got to line up with that little groove. Ah, okay, on the metal. So, yeah, that's yeah. it. So you put that in there. Yeah. And then twist it. Twist it round. So it locks in. And then somehow... And then these little tangs 
putting those little holes into those. Ah, okay. So it's just a case of lining it all up. And clip it into place. Well, see, these little black tangs go in between these two metal, uh, these two plastic bits. Yeah. So it sits like that and just push it down. Ah, okay. And that's it. Uh, so then, for this one, it comes down th this way. Yeah. So these little these little clips sit on those tangs. Okay. Oops. So I can see why you've taken the handle off now, because it makes it a lot easier rather than. Yeah. I mean, it is doable in the car. I've done it. Yeah. In the car, but that's when you can knock things you up. Can, yeah. Because this is a certain shape. I don't know if you can read. Yeah, that. yeah. That's, and that's a certain shape. And that's really tricky to then. And that's. Get back into there, yeah, especially when it's facing that way. It's yeah, facing so out of the door, isn't it? Sat in the door like that. Yeah. You haven't got much room. And you've got to and try the and get that. And you've got to get out is this side. Yeah. And not only if you've got to get it, you can't just look. There are different angles. Yeah. So it's very, very tricky you've then got, to. You've got to twist the whole thing. Actually, it's the way around, isn't it? You've got to twist it. Which, if you're trying to do this in the car, in the, car, in the door, it's, it's incredibly yeah, hard to do. Incredibly tricky, especially if it's very cold. <laughs> yes, very cold, and you've got gloves on. And you've got to see what's in. You've uh, got yeah, to then, then twist you've then got to twist it, it to then bring this black. Bring so a bit like the other, yeah. the other cable then. And that just slots in there. Slots in there and clips, clips in, in there. Place. There you go, and then you've got the whole mechanism all back together, back together again. And you just got to fit it back in there. Fit it back in there. Fit it back in the car, yeah. So we'll put that rubber grommet the correct way round. There we go. Yeah, that, yeah, that looks. Yeah, that does funny fit a bit better. Yeah, funny that one. Okay, so uh, handle in there handle and in slide. There. Should slide across. Hey, here we go. It's clipped. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Oh no, we'll go again. A bit further, hang on. Oh. Sounded like a clip, but oh yeah, I can see it needs to go back a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah. That's quite a force on there, you've got to. Yeah, it's quite tough. Ah. No. No, a bit more. No. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah, so that's clipped in back into place, and then with your, your so black plastic cover, that goes like that click again. into there, and brute force will push into there. Hey, there we are. Very good. Okay, so get the actuator back into position.
window regulator back into place. should see if it works. So close the door. Oh, that was a nice close. Yeah, so that means so you can open it from the outside. That's a good start. But of course we haven't uh, haven't tried locking it. So let's try. Yeah, so the doors, doors locked. Um, car's locked. Car's back open again. Yay! So we now have an operating door. <laughs> so I can now get in the back. There we are. We shall now go and have uh, a cup of tea because <laughs> it's freezing. We will list the um, the tools at the end of the video. I'll go through them later on in the shed um, as to what tools we used on this job. So I'll get Ben to list them all out for me um, and then we'll go through them. Brilliant, we'll catch you in a bit. There we have it, another video. Um, Another item changed on the Freelander 2. Uh, as I said, they are troublesome, these actuators, and Ben's done a couple before in the past. Um, unfortunately, they just, just seem to go for whatever reason. Poor, poor design, perhaps, I don't know. But uh, yeah, coming up is the list of tools. We've just simplified it um, down in, in, in as much as what you need to do the job. Um, any comments? please leave one on, on the video. Um, yeah, we'll catch you again next time. Okay, so as promised, uh, we'd show you the tools um, that you're going to need to change a uh, door actuator on your, your Freelander 2. Um, so we've got the trim removal kit. Um, you definitely need one of those. <laughs> you're gonna need a crosshead screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a ratchet, a torque set, some mask and tape or some tape ideally to hold the window up when you um, disconnect the window um, from, from that white clip we showed you in the video. Um, a Allen key um, set and a ratchet spanner with a 10 mil socket on. Um, and a torch if I haven't already said that one. And of course you're gonna need the actual actuator itself. Um, the main the main component to, to do the job so yeah we um we hope that's useful um if there's any comments um you'd like to add please please put them in the, the video and yeah we will um we'll see you again yeah.